And welcome to another edition of Talkline. I'm Zev Brennan coming to you on location from American Friends of a Hebrew University in conjunction with Ramaz presenting a special symposium, Healing the World, an evening and dialogue and discovery with the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in partnership with Ramaz Middle School in Manhattan. We're speaking with Dr. Oren Freud, Director of Nutrigenomics and Functional Foods Research Center at Hebrew University. Good to have you. It's a prestigious title, I'm sure doing a lot of important work, I'm sure also with aging. So tell us about some of the work that you're doing at Hebrew University. All right, so we're trying to do research with nutrition and the brain, um, try to study the areas in the brain that controlled all our systems in the body, the area where the biological clock is, and uh, the biological clock controls all the systems of our body, heart rate, blood pressure, um, body temperature, metabolism, and of course it all has to do with nutrition and we're trying to connect both nutrition and the effect on the biological clock to study how we can reset the biological clock to have better health and uh, a longer lifespan. Uh, we've shown in a couple of papers uh, that we published that um, resetting uh, of the biological clock by feeding regimens can uh, improve health, reduce inflammation and extend lifespan. So what does one have to do if they want to reset the biological clock? What do we have to eat? What do we have to do? All right, so we have different uh, uh, regimens, as I said, uh, that one has to do in order to have uh, more robust circadian rhythms, and that would lead to wellness and, and, uh, and longer lifespan. Uh, for example, I can give you uh, uh, one of the uh, feeding regimens that we studied was what we call restricted feeding, that we restrict the uh, food. It's time restricted, so we restrict it to just three hours. Uh, during the day, every day at the same time, and that reduces uh, weight a little bit. It's not a, uh, um, um, a way to lose weight, but it sort of maintains uh, the body weight, uh, but it leads to more robust circadian rhythms, and that reduces inflammation uh, for a long period of time. So what you're saying, you shouldn't be eating constantly during the day. You set aside a specific time for breakfast, and that's it, a specific time for other meals, and don't go beyond those boundaries. Right, so, so, so the better thing to do is just to stick to meals uh, and try to do it every day at the same time, uh, three meals a day, uh, not to eat three hours before you go to sleep, and uh, just maintain a uh, low, uh, uh, low fat uh, diet, especially in the evening, because uh, we've shown that a uh, high fat diet in the evening uh, delays the, the phase of the biological clock, and that would lead, of course, uh, to the uh, phase, sh a phase shift in, in the sleep pattern, and that would lead to, again, disruption of the biological clock in general. So we have to stick to meals every day at the same time, and not to eat too late, and not high fat diet at, in the evening. I understand some of the students that are taking courses on this particular aspect are those a little bit older trying to reset their biological clocks, right? So usually people think university is being young, but I understand you have a nice mix of people that are older that are looking to go back in time, so to speak. Yes, definitely. But even young people who have who usually uh, work, uh, do shift work or, or have some uh, sleep disorders uh, can reset the biological clock uh, just by doing that. You know, students l study at night, so, so even it, it's relevant also for, for young, young, young people. Not I would assume sleep patterns also, um, sleeping at a regular amount of time, a consistent time also would have an effect? Right. So if you have sleep disorders, if you don't sleep right, not certain times, um, um, uh, the amount of hours uh, during the night, then that could uh, lead to disruption of the biological clock. Sleep is one of the outputs of the biological clock, but once sleep is disrupted, then the whole biological clock is disrupted. And is there also an element that if you reset the biological clock, you can live longer and healthier? Yes. Uh, um, we've shown that, that it reduces inflammation after four months of the feeding regimens that I mentioned before. Um, and and we've, shown that, we've shown that in mice, but it's, it's been shown in humans that if you uh, uh, reset the biological clock with feeding regimen, that leads to extended lifespan. Not this specific one that I mentioned before, but for example, calorie restriction, if you restrict uh, if you restrict the amount of calories to 70% of the daily intake, that resets the biological clock, leads to more robust circadian rhythms, and that leads to wellness and extended lifespan. Now, if somebody's been eating poorly throughout his life and sleeping poorly, they say, I want to reset the biological clock, how long does it take for one to make a commitment and to actually have that biological clock reset? A week or two. 
Only a week or two. Yes. And if you maintain it, you can, I guess, wash away years of bad habits. Yes. Well, the, the younger you start, the more chances you have to live longer or to stay healthier. But, uh, but it, it's, it's reversible. So Food for thought. Thank you. Food for thought. You're welcome. We're going to arrive at with our special broadcast, Healing the World from the American Friends of Hebrew University at Ramaz, right after these messages.